Questions for Coach? Uh, how good of a flow were y'all in the play call on Saturday? You know, I, I think, you know, it's easy to be in a flow when you're, when you're always ahead of change. And, and, you know, um, that's the biggest thing. I think we, our execution was, was very, very high. Uh, you know, I felt like I've been saying for a couple weeks, you know, eventually it'll start clicking. You know, I think it's, um, you know, it's a process. I think that's what people got to realize, the process. We're really working on changing the culture offensively uh, to, you know, one believing, you know, playing fast and having fun and doing those things. And I think uh, the other night was an example of hopefully what we continue to do and continue to build on. But um, yeah, we were in a good rhythm, good flow, and you know, uh, total total team effort. Uh, what do you think about Jack and Free Smith leading this team? I thought uh, number one, he, he's done a great job all year of you know, getting us in the right protections. Uh, I think it, it really helps when you got the release that he has. He's got one of the quickest releases, you know, that I've ever been around. And even when there is a little bit of pressure, he's still able to get the ball off where, you know, a guy with a slower release and a little bit longer delivery, you know, may may not be able to, you know, make those throws. So um, he made all the all the right reads. Honestly, it was as good a performance as, as, as I've ever been around. And I'm proud of him for that. Um, you know, we just got to continue to build off of it. Whenever y'all were kind of had their all the pieces to work with throughout the fall camp, I mean, did you see what you saw Saturday? Uh, yeah, you know, I've, like I said, you know, with getting a couple guys back, you know, obviously Quez getting him back, you know, DeMichael missed two, two weeks of you know, summer camp, and, uh, you know, so that really you know, changed some things. You know, Bryce Foxworth's another guy that missed really all the camp, you know, we were able to get him back, and, you know, that helps with that continuity. And, you know, just be able to kind of get the pieces where we, you know, see them being, you know, for the long haul. The, um, you had a lot of success with the drag across the middle, either Quez or Jalen. Is that something that you saw in film study, or was that something that you kind of picked up on during the game? When did you kind of see if that might work? Uh, you know, something we obviously saw in film study that we, you know, we felt like we'd be able to hit, you know, and, you know, just throughout the course of the game, you know, we just, it was kind of one of those deals. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. And, you know, the quarterback felt good about it on all those plays. He had multiple answers. Uh, you know, we hit the post on the same play. He hit an out route on the same play. He hit the back on the same play. So, uh, you know, we ran it several times. And he was, you know, bottom line, the quarterback was able to go out there and execute. And, uh, receivers made plays and O-line blocked. And like I said, it was a total group effort. Where does Quez and Jalen, that duo, Ring for, you've coached a bunch of different places, called plays a bunch of different places. That this duo, where does it rank for you in terms of their, how dynamic they are? They're definitely dynamic. You know, as far as where that ranks, you know, I think it's got a chance to be really good. Uh, you know, really high up there. You know, it's still early in the season. I think the guys that that, that really help make it go, and people don't you know realize, are, are Jordan Mitchell and Tim Jones. I, I'm telling you, those two guys are are so valuable to what, um, what we do, just because it allows the moving parts and um, us to able to get those guys the ball. Number one, the perimeter blocking was great the other night. Uh, but those two guys obviously have a skill set that you know a lot of guys don't. Jalen's a guy that can flat run. I mean, he can fly. We gotta find ways to get him the ball. And then, you know, Quez is a great route runner, makes plays down the field, tremendous ball skills. And it's good to be able to, you know, have one on each side. Um, but it's a total group effort. And I, I truly mean that, you know. So don't, yeah, they're good, but those other guys are pretty good too. Yeah, for Quez, I mean, it seemed like he really hit the high point. I mean, a lot of those, like, he was going over to get the ball. I mean, how big, you know, how big of a help is that to your quarterback to be able to go over to the catcher like that? That's a big help, you know. When you put it in his area code, he goes up and he's, he's getting hands on the ball, you know, which is a good thing. Like I said, Jack gave him a chance to make plays on every single one of those throws, except for maybe one that he left. Well, they, they, they did hold Quez, and they, they got the penalty. So, um, you know, it, it, as a quarterback, that gives you confidence knowing that you don't have to be perfect in the throw, um, that, that a guy like him can, you know, he's got great body control. You know, his catch radius is really good, the long arms, and, um, you know, his athleticism obviously speaks for itself. You saw that. So. It just gives the quarterback confidence knowing that, 
you know, he can go to his X, H, Y, Z, or his running back on, on any given play. Can you talk about the offensive line and how those guys being able to just stay in one position for most of the whole game, how much of a difference does that make up front? They pass block really well, 100-plus oh, rushing. Yeah. Can you talk about that a little bit? Uh, I thought they played tremendous. I mean, you, to, to go in there in, in an environment like that, at a place like Troy, and won a bunch of games, and, you know, it was loud. Uh, I thought the whole line did a great job, I, you know, handling all the twist games, all the pressures uh, that uh, Troy – Troy presents. I mean, they do a great job over there. And, you know, I was really proud with the offensive line, the way they played and competed and, and picked everything up. And, uh, you know, we just got to continue to get better. But having those guys play the whole game, kind of be with each other, is, is, is crucial to our success. It'll be loud this week, a little bit different cup of tea this week, I guess. But uh, just coming off a game like this offensively, confidence booster going down the road? I definitely think it's a confidence like I said, you know, changing the changing the mindset and the culture offensively has been something as an offensive staff that that's where it starts. You know, it's not necessarily X's and O's. I think everybody gets caught up in that. It's about believing, you know, and believing in each other and, uh, and playing for one another. And I think that's where we're getting to. They're having a little bit of fun. I think that was that was a big step, uh, you know, in the process of, of us moving forward. I think now they realize maybe how explosive they can be, you know, instead of just, you know, thinking that they can be and hoping, you know, now they, they see it and it happened to them. And uh, hopefully we're able to just, you know, continue to build off that, um, off that game. Right. <clears throat> it's been a lot of good defenses, Alabama, but just looking at this group, what, can, what kind of stands out? They're still Alabama. <laughs> uh, obviously, Coach Saban, you know, at the top in our profession, I mean, all the success he's had and you know what he's done over there uh, it really hadn't mattered who the defensive coordinator's been I mean you, you go in and they've always been good on defense and I think they'll continue to be that uh, they're big they're fast they're strong they're well coached they're extremely disciplined in everything that they do you, know, you, you watch the tape and uh, you know, that's just what you see and that's just kind of been a trademark for the last 10 years of coach Saban's team so um, it's obviously a big challenge. Uh, we want to go down there. We want to play a good, clean football game and, and give ourselves a chance to, to, uh, to be in it and, and hopefully pull out a win. What's your mindset this week? You know, what's going on with you? Is this this is a? I mean, obviously, Bama is Bama, but this has to be a great, like, personal challenge, like being able to take on a team this this good. Um, is there an, a certain excitement level going into a matchup like this? I, I think the number one thing as a coach, you, you know, you got to be even kill. Every game's the same. You know, yeah, you say that's coach talk, but it, it's the truth. I mean, you, you've got to prepare every, you know, if, if, if you treat this game any different than another game, you'll, you'll, you'll be inconsistent in, in, in what you do. And um, one thing we want is consistency. You know, we want the kids to be consistent. We want to be consistent on offense and everything we do. And, and as coaches, that's our job, you know, for our kids to see that. So we're going to treat this just like any other game. Um, we're going to prepare just like we would. Uh, you know, obviously they're the number two team in the country, or whatever they are. Um, we've got to go down, and we've got to put a put a premium on execution. And I think that's the, that's the number one thing. And protecting the ball and protecting the quarterback is uh, a part of that. So on, on Saturday morning, 11 a.m., you're on the sideline. You're, you're telling me that your heart rate's not going to be a little, a little higher than normal? I mean, it, 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 fortunately, I've been down there twice, you know, so. Um, but, yeah, yeah, it, it's neat. It, it's great for the kids. There's no doubt about it. It's awesome. Uh, go down there and, and play in one of the best environments in college football. That's why you play. That's why you coach. It's definitely exciting um, that we get to go down there and do it. But as far as preparation and things like that go, you treat all that the same. You know, but yeah, it's pretty neat going against to play against Coach Saban. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Anything else? Coach, thank you. I appreciate it, guys.